What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran, and we're back with some more live Duran Duran. Uh, and from now on, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this live performance now that I know it is all one concert at the Apollo in Manchester, 1989, um, I think April. So yeah, uh, the first tune, the first proper tune, there's like an intro, but it's literally just someone like, hello, welcome to British radios, like, you know, concerts of live British music. Um, so the first proper track is Big Thing, uh, which is interesting because that's 1988. So this is only a year after that album comes out. So this is an out or a track that is very fresh in their repertoire. So, you know, thinking about it in terms of like when these live performances happen. Um, and yeah, ultimately I enjoy the album track a great deal. It kind of has this swagger to it. It's kind of heavy, it's powerful. It's got some banging percussion, which like, it feels very much like it's coming on the heels of Notorious and to a certain extent Power Station. Um, so yeah, I enjoy the saxophone in it, certainly. There's a female vocal, um, and I just ultimately like the chorus. It has a very like catchy kind of um, uh, lyrical rhythm to it or vocal rhythm. So yeah, it's a tune I enjoy. Excited to hear it in a live format. We'll see if it's you know significantly different. I hope the saxophone is still very much a part of it. So I guess we'll find out. This is Duran Duran, a live performance of Big Thing at the Apollo in Manchester, 1989. <laughs> Definitely an extended sort of intro. Austere, dramatic. Get it up, get it up, get it in time. Hang it up, hang it up, hang it on a big thing. Move it in, move it out, move off the line. Hang it up, hang it up, hang it on a big thing. Brothers and sisters, let me hear it. Turn it up. Up the heft, it's got the swagger.
robot. Streaking over the top. the show like a tune doesn't have to be fast to really have some power to it and to have a sort of a, a badass feel for lack of a better phrase because um, that really had some power to it they were really sort of you know jamming hard by the end of that track so really cool um, yeah in a way I feel like it actually was pretty close to the studio version I think it had that longer more dramatic intro um, but by and large it felt like the beats were pretty close to the studio version um, and yeah, just really cool. Again, I was like waiting for the sax, so when it came, that was very satisfying. I'm trying to remember, is this the tune? Um, give me one second. I want to see... Uh, Janice Jameson is the backing vocalist on the... Uh, whatchamacallit, on the studio version. Is that the same vocalist on this version? Uh, if someone does let me know, please shout it out. 